Have you ever found yourself thinking, I want my art to be better. I just want to make better videos, photos, art. I want the stuff I create to be better. It's almost like an itch that just won't go away and you can't quite reach. At least it is for me some days. And maybe itch is the wrong word because I'm not really frustrated or discouraged with what I'm creating. I just have this deep desire to be, to be better at what I do. But how? That's what this video is all about. Welcome here, my name's Dallas Lammerman. I'm a creator from beautiful Alberta, Canada. And when I was 16 years old, I decided I was going to be a filmmaker because I couldn't decide which avenue of art I wanted to go in. I just knew I wanted to get better. There might be infinite ways to scratch this itch. So where do you start? Today, we're gonna start at the beginning. First, we need to find what this better means. Chapter six of Clayton Christensen's How Will You Measure Your Life is titled, what job did you hire that milkshake for? And in this chapter, Clayton illustrates how important it is to have a good measure for your success. In his book, Clayton tells the story of a cafe that wanted to sell more milkshakes. So the cafe decided in order to sell more milkshakes, they needed to make better milkshakes. But they sold no more milkshakes than they had previously. And what Clayton and his team discovered was that the cafe had used the wrong measurement for success. They didn't just need abstractly better milkshakes. They needed milkshakes that did the job that the people who bought the milkshakes bought them for. And when they did that, they were able to actually make the milkshakes better in a way that the customers appreciated and they were able to sell far more milkshakes. And one of the things that the story highlights is that if you don't know what better is, it greatly diminishes your chance of actually improving. So this might seem pretty simple. I wanna be better at composition. I want to have better lighting. I wanna have better sound. I wanna be better at making thumbnails or posters or at Photoshop or at graphics. But that's all still a little bit abstract. So I think we need to drill down a little bit deeper. And we might say, you know, I'll know it when I see it. When I put my video next to somebody else's and I'm like, yeah, that seems like it's better. Now I recommend that you choose a measure of your success that is outside of your own thoughts. Don't just put two thumbnails up or two videos side by side, two pieces of art, yours and someone else's and say, wow, I think I've made it. I think, I think I'm getting about as good as they are. It is very difficult for us to look at our own art, our own work objectively. We often think it's either way worse or way better than it actually is. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's run into an artist who is convinced that their work is just the bomb, the best stuff out there, and everybody's looking at it and going, it isn't that good. It just isn't that good. So how do you know when you are getting better? What is your measure of success? What happens when you succeed? So for example, I wanna tell better stories in my films. And so I can use YouTube to help me grow in that way. When I make a video like this one, I can then look at the analytics on the video after I've published it and see, are people watching the video all the way through or are they dropping off because I didn't tell a good enough story, I wasn't engaging enough? And how can I improve that so that I can see an improvement and how well I'm able to keep people engaged? When I was making feature films, one of the things that I would always look for in a screening was how people reacted to punchlines to a joke to different parts of the story because I wanted to know, was it working? Am I telling the story well? I wanted to use my own intuition, but I didn't want to just rely on my own intuition. I wanted to see how were real people, how was my real audience reacting? And were they reacting in the way that I wanted them to or not? Because that would tell me, am I succeeding in what I'm trying to do? Well, I don't just want to get better at Photoshop. I want to get better at representing my films in their titles and images that people see before they click on the videos. And while when I look at my thumbnails, I wanna be happier with them myself, what I'm really looking for is some outside markers. Did this title and thumbnail successfully attract my ideal audience's attention? And then once they actually start watching the video, I can check with audience retention statistics to see whether my thumbnail and title accurately represented the video that they watched in their mind, not mine. As a filmmaker and photographer, I wanna take better photos and see better shots. So that might look like better lighting and better composition. What emotion, what response did I want from someone when they saw this shot, when they saw this picture? So one way to intentionally measure this is to take a moment before you go out and take a photo and think up a couple phrases that you would like people to respond with when you show them your photo. If they don't respond how you intended, try again. If they do respond how you intended, 
try something more challenging. So once you've defined what better is and made it tangible, you have a goal. Now you can move on to step number two, which is to make a plan of action that will get you there. But that will have to wait until another video. If you like this video, I think you'll like watching this one next. Thanks for watching. Alright, see you guys later, I'm almost there, I'm almost there.